There was no lack of vehicle technology shown at this year's CES in Las Vegas. From foldable e-bikes to a concept car from Sony to Ram's first all-electric pickup, the 2023 show was a must-see. Here are some of the highlights from this year's Consumer Electronics Show. The Chrysler Synthesis Cockpit. As auto enthusiasts, we get used to seeing vehicle exteriors teased endlessly, while interiors often remain under wraps until the very last second. Once a year, CES happens, and our focus shifts briefly to glimpses of arguably the single most important part of a car for most drivers, the many touch points between man and machine. Chrysler was among those offering in-person demonstrations of its vision for future tech, the Synthesis Cockpit. Chrysler says it will be the standard bearer for the company's forthcoming AI-based technologies that can both adapt to driver preferences and automate certain functions, up to and including driving. Chrysler is calling it advanced technology for real life and says it will create smooth, efficient, and connected experiences between the customer and the vehicle. The Ecoma Tatamel Bike Ecoma's Tatamel bike goes from a suitcase-sized square to a tiny electric motorcycle in a few seconds. Charge it for three hours and it'll zip you 18 miles or so. The price tag is $4,000 and the bike has a 25 mile per hour top speed. Overall, the Tatamel seems a little unsure of what it's for or who needs one. It's neat looking, but you're gonna look pretty silly riding around on it and it doesn't seem particularly competitively specced or priced compared to some of the alternatives out there. The Sony Honda Mobility Afila EV. Three years after showing its first concept car, Sony Honda Mobility has revealed its electric car brand and a concept that previews the first model. The all-wheel drive concept car, bearing no other names besides the Afila brand, looks fairly different from the original Sony concepts, other than also being a sedan-like vehicle with a satin gray paint. The shape is extremely clean and minimalist, with as few creases, curves, and lines as possible. The exterior does have a couple unique features, though. Most notably is the media bar at the front between the actual headlight units. It's a screen that can display all kinds of information and even be personalized. The interior is about as minimalist as the exterior, but with the ever more popular full-width bank of screens, including ones for the side mirrors. The rear seats have individual screens, too. No details on the battery or the motors were given. The BMW iVision D. This is the BMW iVision D concept, a mid-sized sedan introduced this year at CES. D is an acronym for Digital Emotional Experience, but it also serves as the human-like name for the supposedly self-aware talking car. BMW will redesign its whole lineup over the next three years, and the iVision D is a glimpse of what the future will look like. BMW's design chief said the automaker will be simplifying the visual language of its current lineup, and so quickly that BMW's entire range will be revamped in the next three years. It's hard to tell if that's good news. Also showcased was BMW's new e-ink technology. Up to 32 colors can be displayed on 240 e-ink segments, each segment individually controlled. With e-ink, you wouldn't have to worry about the color you wanted not being available when you purchase your vehicle. Or you could change the car's color depending on who's driving. The Volkswagen ID7 concept. Volkswagen is again preparing to expand its range of ID branded EVs. The next addition to the family is a battery powered sedan called ID7 due to arrive in the United States in 2024. Rather than the usual vinyl wrap, the car features an electroluminescent 40 layer paint job. The car's silhouette is similar to the ID Aero concept and showcases a car that is about 194 inches long with a very long wheelbase, which should grant it sizable interior space. It's quite obviously a hatchback along the lines of the Arteon. The ID7 will have rear wheel drive and should have somewhere around 300 miles of range. Interior wise, the digital instrument cluster is notably embedded into the dashboard rather than installed on the steering column and Volkswagen pledged to offer a long list of tech features such as a reworked infotainment system displayed on a 15-inch touchscreen. Volkswagen's ID7 will make its debut without the psychedelic camouflage in the second quarter of 2023. Gran Turismo trailer. In what was a rather car-centric press conference from Sony, the company finally shared footage and details from the upcoming Gran Turismo movie. 
The trailer is a behind the scenes look at the film with some of the basic details of the plot, but what the trailer focuses on mostly is the filming of the driving, and it looks excellent. Particularly neat are some of the shots that evoke the racing game, such as a third person chase cam that should be familiar to just about anyone who's played any racing video game in the past 20 years. Gran Turismo will hit theaters on August 11th, 2023. Google's new HD maps to launch with Volvo EX90 and Polestar 3. Volvo and sister company Polestar will be partners in launching Google's new HD map service, an integrated solution designed specifically for automotive applications that pulls real-time data to improve vehicle navigation. The new tech will launch in Volvo's all-electric EX90 and the Polestar 3. HD Maps will integrate sensor data with real-time traffic information to better enhance route planning, and will talk to the onboard Pilot Assist semi-autonomous suite to provide highly accurate information about the vehicle and its surroundings. Volvo says the new suite will be available on models equipped with its Pilot Assist system. The Ram 1500 Revolution Electric Pickup after many teasers and much anticipation, the electric Ram has finally been revealed in its concept form. It's absolutely packed with features and according to Ram will be a leader in range, towing, payload, and charge time. There are two electric motors, one front and one rear. Ram says the cab is four inches longer overall compared with the current Crew Cab 1500, but its bed is a similar length. The truck features a mid-gate, a pass-through all the way into the frunk for particularly long and narrow objects, and a power tailgate that is split into barn doors, which can also be opened up with a gate and a floor to extend the bed beyond the tail. Additionally, on the interior, Ram added a third row. There's a set of jump seats behind the rear row mounted to the mid-gate that can be deployed for those brief occasions when you have more than five people to carry around. The truck is available with air suspension featuring self-leveling and multiple ride heights. Four-wheel steering will be another option. The battery system is 800 volt, capable of peak charging speeds of 350 kilowatts. Ram says it'll be able to add 100 miles of range in 10 minutes. The production version of the Ram 1500 Revolution will go on sale in 2024, likely as a 2025 model, but we'll get to see that truck sometime this year.